We must play the board before us. Proceed cautious. Fuck dignity. I want revenge. The reign of House Targaryen begins with this prequel to the popular HBO series Game of Thrones. Based on George R.R. Martin's Fire and Blood, House of the Dragon is set nearly 20 years before Game of Thrones, telling the story of the Targaryen Civil War with King Viserys. With several dragons flying overhead, including a golden creature, likely Egon Sunfire, the trailer delivers on one thing the creators promised. With five new dragons intended for this season, there are sure to be more dragon fights, which only appeared briefly in season one. As Otto Hightower tells his grandson that the great houses will come to their side, armies can be seen gathering, bringing the war to the forefront. These armies include a glimpse of horses with the Lannister emblem and a fleet bearing Valerian flags, highlighting key players in the conflict. Though the Lannisters have sided with Egon, Corlys Valerian and his wife, Rhaenys, choose Rhaenyra, a fact the trailer reminds us of as Corlys promises Rhaenyra his ships will follow her commands. The armies and dragons prove that season two will be a bloody affair. The trailer also shows a few of the new characters, a more clear look at Cregan Stark Tom Taylor, the ancestor of some Game of Thrones favorites, sets up a major character for the rest of the series. Likewise, Alan of Hull appears in the trailer. You revealed that he will be introduced as a crew member of the Valerian fleet, which is how he is seen here, but his character will grow in importance. Season 1 ended with Rhaenyra in a dark place after the loss of her son, but the trailer shows that she isn't the only Targaryen ready to destroy her enemies. Egon can be seen casually threatening his own council with a dagger and later announcing that he wants revenge. Showrunner Ryan Kandal told you that Egon and the other children of our leading ladies will have larger roles in Season 2, and the trailer reflects that. Though the Greens have not faced any major losses yet, evidently, that will not last those familiar with fire and blood know what is ahead for Egon's family. Previous trailers have featured Rhaenyra's mourning for her son, but this highlights Egon's reaction to the carnage, showing that neither side will escape the war unscathed. The story has already split the Targaryens in two as a licensed children become the Greens, supporting Egon's rule. Meanwhile, Rhaenyra has the support of her uncle husband, Daemon, his daughters, and her father's cousin, Rhaenys. Yet there is more conflict headed for the Targaryens. As Elysian advises caution about the war effort, Eamon can be seen claiming she cares too much for their enemy. Elysian and Rhaenyra's childhood friendship is already doomed but it is interesting to see her hesitation, paralleling Rhaenyra's position before her son's death. Yet Aelson's warnings of not wanting to win the war like this suggest Eamond will take drastic action in season two, alienating even his loving mother. Eamond is not the only one going too far in the season two trailer. Demon Targaryen is an important player in the war, though the husband of the queen, not the ruler himself, Demon pushed for war before Rhaenyra was ready and this dynamic will remain the same in Season 2. With his battle-proven dragon, Demon is the Black's biggest asset, yet he could be a threat as well. Demon's words, the realm's only hope is a leader strong enough to unite it, play as he prepares for war, yet he is confronted by Rhaenyra, who asks if he can accept her as his queen and ruler. There seems to be trouble ahead for these lovers, with infighting between key members of both the Greens and Blacks. There will be no shortage of Targaryen drama this season. The center of Targaryen's power is King's Landing, where the Iron Throne sits. But with Targaryen against Targaryen, an attack on the capital is inevitable before the end of the war. There is sure to be chaos in the streets, as seen by a fleeing Alicent and Helena Fia Sabin. But a brief exchange between Demon and Rhaenys proves that the capital city is not safe. Demon tells Rhaenys that they are going to King's Landing. Though who that statement includes is unclear, the conversation occurs between the Blacks and their two most experienced dragon riders, setting up danger for the capital.